If you're building a course or coaching program and you want the content of that program to go out to your students uh, every day or every week and create a drip style course, Kajabi makes it extremely easy. And today I'm going to take you behind the scenes inside of Kajabi and show you how to set up a drip course. If you want to take advantage of a free 30 day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. All right, to build out your drip course content, we're gonna wanna go to the products tab inside of Kajabi and you can click all products or go to courses as well. Uh, regardless, we're gonna wanna click this button up here, new course. Usually anytime you create any one of those tabs and you create a new product, it's gonna take you to this page. So it doesn't really matter which one you pick because it's gonna ask you what, what kind do you wanna build anyway on this page. Uh, so you can decide, you know, if you're like, oh, I wanna make a course and then last minute, you're like, oh, I actually wanna make this a coaching program or turn it into a podcast or community tab. You can do that. Uh, and when you click on each one of these, it gives you a little rundown of the features and what's entailed with each program. But we're making a drip course, so we're gonna stick with the course option. We'll click get started. And then we're gonna call this uh, whatever the name of your course is. In this example, I'll just call it a drip course and I'll just say this is a drip course, just like I had just said. Uh, <laughs> use this information to generate a simple course outline. That's up to you if you wanna do that. Kajabi recently started using a lot more AI to help you have a better and stronger foundation when building out courses and kind of give you templates of like, hey, here's some ideas to make it a better course. I personally like to build things from scratch, but we'll leave this and just see what it looks like. So we'll click continue. And then you can upload an image. I'm not gonna do that right now. It's not very necessary. You can decide after if you want to be paid or free. Uh, I don't have my payment set up right now because I'm in my partners tab. Uh, this isn't my main tab. It shows you more from scratch or you can skip for now. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it for free right now. Not as big of a deal. So it's gonna take a second to build it out. Okay, so just FYI, that took like three to five minutes to uh, to build out this course just by having that little toggle switch with like the AI stuff. So I don't recommend switching that. I think it's a lot easier just to not have that and create your program from scratch. Uh, but anyway, I, that's a new thing that they started adding. So I was just kind of like, yeah, let's see what happens. So now we wanna start building out the drip course. If you look, when you start building out a course, it's gonna show that it's always a draft. So you wanna make sure things are published or you can say drip right here. This is the set drip days after enrollment. So if I was going to build a drip course and I had students just pay for my course, I'd want them to have the first module unlocked right away. I wouldn't want it to go out uh, seven days. So, you know, when they, as soon as they pay, they log into their program, they're going to have the first set of videos completely there. So we'll hit publish on this first one and we'll just make sure that all the first set of videos under this module are published. Okay, so as soon as somebody signs up for your program, they just paid for it, they're gonna get access to that first module, first set of videos. Now after that, what I would do is go down here and make drip. So here's the thing, with a drip course and drip content, their drip uh, specifications, uh, like when the next video is going to drip is, the amount of days after someone pays for your course. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. You want this to be, I would go seven days, so every week a new module is 
uh, published for the person when they go through the course. So the first module, they get access to it. The next one is going to come out or be unlocked for them a week after they had paid for the course. So we'll click done. And then this one, we're going to make it a drip for this next module. In this instance, we have one, two, three, four modules that each have their own set of content inside of here. Okay, so we'll go publish. We'll make sure all this stuff is published. This is after you've built out your course, but this module isn't going to be released until seven days after someone had paid for it. Okay, down here, we'll do another drip. But we're going to make this one 14 days. See, if we did seven days again, it's not going to be seven days after this module gets published for the person. Uh, it, it's seven days after the person paid for it. They got access to the first module seven days later, the second one, 14 days later, the next one. So that's another week. All right. And then this one we would do 21. All right. And so on and so forth. If you happen to have more modules than this. So the way that this works, yeah, again, someone pays for your course, they get that first module access to it right away. All the videos inside the first module a week later, they're going to get notified that they have access to the second module. A week after that, they'll get notified about the third. A week after that, notified about the fourth. What's cool about you just changing this little button right here and deciding on the amount of days, Kajabi is automatically going to get notified inside their system um, that you want this to be a drip course. And they will automatically send emails just because you made that switch to having it be a drip rather than published. Uh, to the people who have paid for this course. So there are a couple little things that we need to pay attention to in terms of the settings. So we'll go down to the settings tab. And what we want to do is go down to drip settings. So this is where you can decide, configure what day of or what time of day drip modules will become available to your customers. Let's say that you want this to they want you want access or them to get access to the new drip content at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can choose whatever time zone you want as well. And then you can decide right here, send an email to customers when product modules are dripped. So at 7 a.m., a week after they had paid for the program, automatically they're going to get an email and get the next module completely unlocked for them. Okay, but you can decide on what time makes sense for you, what time zone, et cetera, et cetera. But we're not quite done. So once you get the drip settings done, then we're going to go down to email templates. You click that, and we want to go down to member drip notification. We'll click the little pencil, and then you can decide what you want this email to say. Okay, what I always recommend is do not mess with these. <laughs> this is the, uh, the liquid, what do I call it, liquid objects available. Okay, liquid markup is what they call it. So it's going to make sure if you just leave those alone, you can change all this other text, uh, new content available for you at, you know, whatever site detail at profit, your knowledge is what it would say uh, right there. Or you can even copy down here, like the product name, if you wanted to, uh, like product title right here. So you could put that you could copy this and then put it right here. Yeah, you just don't want to mess with this because it's like its own little code. So it's going to register uh, what product the person's in because you're not making a drip email for each individual course. You're making a singular drip email template for every one of your courses or products that you decide to have be drip content. So if you have three different courses, you can't just put in the name of the course in this email because then if someone's in a different course that is also drip, they're gonna get the same email template and they're like, that's not the course that I paid for. So that's why we wanna leave the liquid markup just as it is. But again, you can change out this text, all right? And then, yeah, just kind of play around with this. Just keep an eye that you're not messing up the liquid markup or any of that stuff. And you can always send a test email to make sure that it looks the way that you want it to look at or it can just preview in browser as well, all right? And that's really all there is to creating a drip content course. All right. So we can go back to products and then yeah, drip course right there. This is just a regular mini course that I had built as an example. But yeah, now you, if you want to change up the content in here, you can do that. You can decide if you want to lock different modules. Uh, if you leave it as drip, it'll automatically lock it for you. What I love about Kajabi is that, yeah, just changing it to become a drip course. 
um, it's going to automatically register that and it's going to automatically send out the emails. You just have to kind of fine tune to make sure that everything's going out the time you want it to. And that that drip email template is going to say what you want it to say to get someone into the course. Drip content is really great. You know, if you, um, it, it can be a little overwhelming if you have a huge course with like 10 different modules and 20 videos plus, uh, it's kind of nice just to have like a small set of videos. They can just focus on that. You can even add an assessment as well if you want at the end of each module. So in that first week, they can have a little quiz or a test and then their drip content gets unlocked for the next module. And at the end of that module, there's a little assessment or quiz to test their knowledge of whatever it is that you shared inside of that course. So there's a lot of ways to play the game, but these are the most important features that I would be considering if I was creating a drip course um, or drip content style course, if that makes sense. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the drip style course inside of Kajabi. If you have any extra questions, it makes sense. Maybe I'll make another video if enough people are asking the same kind of question, but that's really all there is to it. Take what you learned here. Give Kajabi a shot if you haven't tried it yet. Get the hands-on approach. Try it for 30 days using my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. And I will see you in the next one.